Hey everyone, today I want to show you guys how we can use the Fonto app for cursive text to use in Cricut Design Space. By using the Fonto app, the cursive fonts are already connected or kerned so that you don't have to manually do it in Design Space. So I have the Fonto app open and I'm just going to click right here on my canvas and I'm going to select plain image. You can also select the camera at the bottom, but either way. So I select plain image. I'll choose the white box on the right here. And then I'm going to, on the upper right here with this little box with the arrow coming out of it, I'm going to click that and I'm going to select use. Okay, now I'm just going to click right here on this white thing, on this white box and add text. I'm going to just type in hello now, if you want to change your font, mine is already set to Samantha Upright. If you want to change your font, just select font and scroll through what you have here. Um, you can align it, center however you'd like it, and we'll select done. Now, I can go here and I'm going to change the um, style and I'm going to change it to black. And we're done. And then you can go ahead and you can resize it or however you'd like in the style. We can choose background. Make sure it's white. That's uh, what you want. And then we're going to go ahead, leave it as is. And we're going to select this box in the bottom right corner with the arrow coming out of it. And we are going to save image. Once it's saved successfully, we're going to go to the Cricut app. We will choose new project. And we'll go down to the upload button at the bottom of the screen here. And we are going to select from photo library. We are going to select what we just did. And we're going to use the little magic wand, the remove one at the bottom right of the screen. And we are going to erase all of the white parts. Zoom in, just use your two fingers to zoom in and get rid of all of the white parts. We'll select next. You can despeckle and smooth if you need to. That's up to you. Select next and then save it as a cut file. And then you can insert it onto your canvas and it's ready to use all connected.